proper operation of the Volt Picture Plus handheld retina camera. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to bring the patient in and position the patient on a uh, traditional exam chair. What we find to be very helpful is um, to ensure the headrest uh, be positioned against the patient's head so that the movement, uh, patient's head movement is uh, limited. From there, as the operator, we find if you sit at eye level to the patient, it certainly helps um, the alignment process. Typically, I will instruct the patient to put their hand over their, uh, in this case, left eye, and we're going to photograph the right eye. This is in a lit room, so pupil size is um, going to be smaller than if it was in a darker room, but I think we've got a decent pupil size to be able to capture the image here. So we go ahead and align the camera over the patient's eye, come around to the viewing window. What we want to do is center the pupil in the viewing window and then push forward. It may feel like you're pushing uh, excessively hard on the patient, but you're really not, and it's not uncomfortable for the patient. Um, now once I get the, um, the macula and the nerve area on the screen, by tilting up or down, I can center it, and by pushing forward a little bit more, a little harder, the green circle appears. That means I'm in good position. So I realign, push a little harder, then I hold down this button in front right here. This button here is going to be the capture button. By the holding it down for the first click, it focuses, and then the second click captures the image. After capture, it immediately asks me that I capture the right or left eye. In this case, we captured the right eye, so I'm going to select right eye. Okay? After that, I will go ahead and capture it on the left eye. The other beauty of this particular camera is it has a built-in Wi-Fi card. That card allows the images to be automatically transferred to our Apple uh, iPad. Uh, the image I just took, for example, already has transferred over here and is sitting right here. I can select that image and then be able to manipulate it, zoom in, zoom out on the image, and from here send these images directly into our EMR system. You can also connect the unit via a docking station to a uh, laptop or a desktop computer and uh, once you dock the camera back on the docking station images will be automatically transferred into a designated folder.